A lot of the things that I've been doing recently have been really targeted towards expanding the use of a small space like this beyond just the garden beds. So we have flat surfaces in the back that can have seed trays there. You have all your potting mix, you can do whatever you need here. We expanded that a little more with these elevated seed trays. Um, and that's all good and, and, and fine with the weather, but I would say probably in about a month. Right now it's mid-February, it's pretty cold out, and this really works when the weather is just a touch warmer to, to really maximize the use of these elevated spaces. So if we just look here at the temperature, it's about 32 degrees outside. You can see inside the temperature here, it's about almost 50 degrees. So even when the sun is not out, this will get warmer. And if the sun is out, this will get quite warm. It'll probably be between 80 and 100 degrees in here. So it will very much heat the air above the spaces. Uh, but the key thing when thinking about doing your sea trays in an environment like this, not insulated, no heating mats, no heating by any means, is that heat is lost quite quickly as soon as that heat source is taken away. So as soon as the sun goes down, it goes away pretty quickly. So if you just look at the temperature of the soil, it's about less than 40 degrees. Uh, so it's even though it might be 100 degrees above the surface, the soil does act as a sink where the heat will go, but you're trying to overcome something that essentially you can't. So the ground that's colder, the outside you can see the snow, so you have all that cold sink beneath it and just the larger space above it, but it's not large enough and it's certainly not hot enough to warm up this, uh, the soil to a point where it actually will change the temperature of that surface. So that will probably stay within the 30s, probably for the next month or so until you routinely get temperatures that are quite warm. So when you think about having elevated surfaces, one of the deficiencies of using the elevated seat tray here is the underneath. So as I put my seat trays here, I'm gonna have to probably put cardboard or insulation on the bottom of it just to give it some, uh, some insulation from the bottom cold at the nights here. So one of the things that I thought about taking more advantage of is then something here. So these are essentially just going off the garden beds itself. So building something that's just slightly above the garden bed, elevated and tied in through that bar in the back that holds the sturdiness of the of the the panels in place so essentially now you have an insulated container where then you can put your first phase so i would say these are second third phase to do your seed trays this is going to be your first phase where you want to put everything in initially so you have the additional insulation of the plastic here as well as the insulation of the board the soil and the bottom ground for whatever it may uh, help in that instance. So all these are, are just two by three frames with plastic pinched in with one by twos. And there is a double layer here. So if I'm going to start my seed trays out, I'm just going to elevate them. I'm gonna pop them up. Sorry about the camera. That's gonna be held in on the top, so I would have all my sea trays underneath here. It's quick and easy, you put everything in there. They're specifically designed because I know the dimensions of my tray. So not only will you have the warmth, but if I have to do this before I go to work or somebody else, you essentially just pop them up really quickly. It'll probably get way too warm in the day, during the daytime heat, so this will open up. As it gets closer to nighttime, you'll be able to close that, retain a lot of the heat, so this is a double layer. So there's one on top, one on the bottom of this. Um, and so that will very much help that immediate air temperature very closely to your uh, dirt and your seeds to be warmer, a little warmer than the actual air uh, in the greenhouse, especially at the nighttime. So it's not something that will, you know, you'll be able to plant tomatoes and peppers, but you'll be able to get a couple more weeks of heat. So you'll get that germination to go a little quicker since seeds can be a little finicky. Spinach, not really but there are gonna be some seeds that need just a little more heat than your 35 degree uh, soil temperature. So if you can get it up into the 50s and 60s, 
you can really start pushing uh, the germination rates and speeds uh, when you're dealing with a non-insulated, non-heated uh, greenhouse such as this. So I made two of these, they're just a handle, and then they just kind of attach on top, if you can see here now, a little easier. Uh, so I have two mounts, I just had to remove the soil, that's why you have all the soil over there. The soil all around it plus the wood will insulate it, um, so it's quick and easy. So I'll be able to put 12 trays over here as those trays begin to go germinate everything is good because obviously the head space between the tray and the uh and the panel there is not that much um, but that's okay we're just here trying to get the germination going and then we'll be putting those on top of these and then they'll get to a point where they're big enough to go into the garden bed so that's kind of how our uh, seed tray plan is we're going to break them into phases and kind of cycle everything through and then push them out to the the garden bed themselves so this is another modification um, this isn't as easy and temporary as, as these ones but nonetheless they are temporary enough where all i would need to do is just remove the screws in the back and then uh, i can put the soil back down and i can grow with that whatever it needs to be so it's just another thing that you need to modify the greenhouse to make it work in that particular part of the season that you're working with so right now it's mid-february probably to mid-march i need something to help that month of cold that we're about to still be in um, in order to get the germination to where it needs to be so that's another one uh of modif modifying the greenhouse